Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to hear about SVM and how it solves a critical challenge for the Workspace ONE community. There's a thing we refer to as the risk window, which represents the window of opportunity for an attacker to exploit a vulnerable software title installed in your environment. The first milestone is the time of disclosure, when a vulnerability is first announced. And the next is when you become aware of it. Sometimes this can be quick, but often it's not. Then the third milestone is the time you have remediated the vulnerability by installing the latest secure version. Most of the time, a patch is available prior to a vulnerability being exploited. The average time to the existence of an exploit has been about 30 days, but some say this is getting more aggressively closer to just a week now. When all is said and done, it takes about an average of 186 days for a patch to be deployed in order to remediate a vulnerability after it's initially disclosed. During this time, your risk window is open, an attacker can exploit the vulnerability to do harm. Even at 30 days, it leaves over 150 days where you have a vulnerability at the time that attackers are exploiting it in the wild. Of course, the goal is to shrink this window by becoming aware of the vulnerabilities that affect you right away and deploying a patched version of the software to remediate it as soon as possible. The larger and more complex your environment, the more applications there are, and the greater the challenge of minimizing your risk becomes. With Microsoft vulnerabilities, you know pretty much right away on Patch Tuesday what vulnerabilities exist, and you have your patched versions to remediate them right away. That's an optimal situation, but a bit worse for well-known applications. Worse still for lesser-known applications, and of course, your risk window remains open indefinitely for those vulnerabilities you never become aware of. Without the insight provided by SVM, most organizations will focus on low-hanging fruit. Microsoft updates we established are pretty easy and well handled by most organizations, but that represents only about 22% of the vulnerabilities out there. Expand your focus to include some more popular titles and you'll still leave about 50% of vulnerabilities unaddressed. But wait, you have Workspace ONE, can't you just update everything? Those faced with the challenge know that this simply isn't realistic. There are only so many applications that can be tested, validated through pilot rollouts, etc. at any given time. So not only do you need packages to deploy, but you need a way to help ensure that the ones you deploy are the ones most impactful to your organization. Without the right insight, it could be scary to hear that one in three breaches are due to unpatched software, alongside the fact that only about one in 10 patches typically get deployed. At a glance, that may seem unreasonable, but you have to consider the fact that enterprise environments of thousands, sometimes several thousand devices, often have as many applications in their environments to manage. So patching at such a scale simply isn't feasible. Getting way above 10% isn't as big a challenge as making sure you patch the right 10%. You likely have a security scanner that provides some vulnerability awareness for popular enterprise software titles, but nobody comes close to the coverage provided by Flexera's Secunia research team, who have been laser focused on software vulnerability management for nearly two decades. Because of this, most every SVM customer also has a traditional security scanner for settings management, suspicious network activity, etc., but look to SVM to identify and prioritize security updates for third-party applications. There are a few ways you can go about deciding what demands your attention the most. Prevalence, how many systems would the update address? The more it will address, the more value that effort may be. Asset sensitivity. Which systems would cause the most damage if compromised? Let's prioritize those. Criticality, if the vulnerability were exploited, how bad might the damage be? This is where many focus. And threat intelligence, which vulnerabilities are actually being exploited now or where there are signs that they may be exploited soon? This is the newer and more enticing way to prioritize your patch activities. Taking all of this into account, you can choose just where it makes the most sense for your patching efforts to best address your security risk. In fact, threat intelligence shows us that only about 8% of vulnerabilities actually get exploited. And you can't get that kind of focus on criticality alone because CVSS systems typically result in too many critical vulnerabilities. We actually see that the majority of vulnerabilities that are exploited are of medium severity. 
between five and eight on the CBSS criticality scale. SVM can automate the publishing of new patches to Workspace ONE as vendors release new versions. But even better, you can limit the automation to your desired focus based on a combination of threat score, CVSS score, or criticality. So what SVM does is identify what needs to be patched, helps you focus on those that really matter to your organization's security risk, and then help you to publish those patches to Workspace ONE for delivery so that you can close your risk window faster than ever before and with less time invested. Let's take a look at a demo. We'll start with a quick look at the SVM configuration. In the Patch Configuration tool, you can go to the Workspace ONE tab and enter your server and credentials. If you have multiple tenants, you can choose the appropriate one. And if you have multiple groups, you can choose the right target. Clicking to test the connection, we can see that it was successful. I'll do the same for SVM. Test that connection. Successful. There are a couple other options around logging and your default target, which we have as Workspace ONE. And that's about it. Pretty simple there. In SVM, you can see some results here. These are the vulnerabilities found in this particular environment. Criticality, also the threat score. Looking closely at one of the security advisories, we can see the threat score, the criticality, and many other details, including what CVEs are associated, what version this affects, a description of the problem, how to solve it, and of course, like in many cases, it is to deploy the latest secure version of the software. So let's go ahead and do that for Google Chrome. I'll create an update package. There's a couple of options presented. You can choose to edit the script if you like, but it's not necessary. So we'll go next. Here are all the places it was detected in my environment. We can target those as criteria. And then we'll choose to publish this via the patch daemon, which will queue it up to be handled by that initial tool where we showed the configuration. And that really is all there is to it. Here's the patch deployment status. We can see that it has been published to that Workspace ONE server. So let's go look in Workspace ONE. I'll just sort this appropriately so we can see the newest edition. And there's my Google Chrome patch. The details of the patch, you can look uh, a little closer at the details by going into Edit. I'm sure this is all very familiar, but you can get a good idea of the effort saved by publishing this via the SVM solution. There are all the target criteria from where it was detected in my environment. And to wrap things up, let's go ahead and create a distribution. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. We're happy to help Workspace ONE customers get the most of their investment by helping you better identify, prioritize, and publish updates so you can protect your organization like never before. Please contact Flexera for any questions or to arrange a personal demonstration.